up guys welcome to another video and in this video we're going to be doing a comparison of the one plus one phone to the Nexus 5 and the Nexus 5 has been for a while one of my like top performing phones that I've, I've had in my inventory uh, so what I wanted to do is do a quick comparison between the flagship killer that is what they're labeling it the one plus one and the Nexus 5 so We've ran some benchmark tests, and we'll get to those here in just a little bit. But just up front, just a quick comparison of what these phones have. So the Nexus 5, of course, uh, for a camera, uh, you know, it, it's okay. It's not super. It's only got a 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera uh, and an 8 megapixel on the back, where the OnePlus has a 13 megapixel on the rear, and a 5 megapixel on the front. So a huge difference when it comes to the camera of the phone. Um, also this shoots in 4K and the Nexus does not. But the one thing that the Nexus has when it comes to the camera is it has optical stabilization built in which does help if you're like um, moving around very much. Uh, it does take more stable video. So you know, overall the OnePlus One does win when it comes to camera, um, but you know the Nexus does have that optical stabilization that uh, is a really nice feature. Okay, so let's now talk about performance. Um, this one here has now they both have Qualcomm Snapdragon CPUs. Okay, so the Nexus actually has a 2.26 gigahertz Snapdragon where the OnePlus One has a quad core so for multi-core functions the OnePlus One is going to kill it uh, so it has a quad core and this is a 2.5 gigahertz quad core so it's it's about point or 2.5 um, or sorry 0.25 gigahertz quicker so not a huge difference except for the quad core uh, processors in the uh, OnePlus One. Uh, RAM wise you get 2 megs in the Nexus and you get 3 megs so you get a full gig of RAM extra in the OnePlus. Also uh, when it comes to like internal storage this is available in the 16, 32 gig, this is a 32 and a 64 gig, this being the 64 gig here, this being the 32 gig here. So you're going to be getting almost double the size when it comes to internal storage. Uh, neither have SD cards, so you cannot increase the storage on these, so it's very important when you buy them that you uh, size it the right way. Now, when it comes to the uh, input-output, we're going to take a look at that in one of our benchmarks, so you can see which one actually writes to the storage quicker. So that's going to be an interesting little thing we'll get to. Display-wise, Let's flip them over. Now this is a 5.5 inch. You can see it almost really kind of makes the dwarfs the, the Nexus 5. You get a 5.5 inch display on uh, the OnePlus One, where this is about a 4.95 or almost a 5 inch display on the Nexus 5. Both will do 1920 by 1080. Uh, the PPIs is actually higher on the Nexus 5 with 445 PPIs which is pixels per inch. The OnePlus One only comes in to 401 pixels per inch, so you get a little nicer display on the Nexus 5, which is a little bit, you know, so they, they, they kind of cut corners a little bit on the display, but hey, you know, no big deal. Battery-wise, okay, you get a 2300 milliamp battery in the Nexus 5, so, you know, it's decent, but it's, it's not superior. Uh, they really blow it out of the park with the OnePlus One. Uh, you get a 31 mil, 3100 milliamp battery when it comes to battery, and I've really noticed the OnePlus One has great battery life. I can actually go uh, a day or so without having to charge this thing. Um, so great battery life, and uh, so far on this. Now for graphics-wise, the GPUs are both Adreno 330s, but the Nexus is a 450 megahertz, and the OnePlus One is actually a 578 megahertz. So it's a little bit quicker, and you're going to see um, when it comes to our benchmarks that it does do a little bit better when it comes to um, 3D graphics. And we do did do the 3D graphics. 
Now, microphone wise, you get two microphones with the Nexus 5, and this is where I've really noticed a huge difference. The OnePlus One has a, um, a tri, tri phone or tri microphone, so there's three, and I really get much better sound uh, recording on the OnePlus One. Also, the speakers sound a lot better on the OnePlus One than they do on the Nexus 5. Both are on the bottom, though, which I really like the HTC line where the speakers are on the front. But the sound quality on the uh, OnePlus is really, really good. So, uh, that being said, they, uh, they have that, uh, have uh, bumped up the speaker sound on that. Now, one area when it comes to charging, we know we talked about battery, but I forgot to mention, the Nexus 5 does do QI wireless charging where the OnePlus One does not. So that's built into the Nexus 5. Um, so, you know, I, I can't get to uh, giving this QI wireless charging at all, so you can throw that out the door. Uh, neither phone can you access the battery, so that's, you know, that's kind of bad, but uh, you know, that, that's a lot of phones are going to that these days. The, neck, uh, the Samsungs are probably one of the few that you can, you know, get to the battery and, and switch them out. Uh, so that is a nice feature with the Samsungs. Now, let's talk benchmarks and performance on these bad boys. All right, so we've actually downloaded quite a few different benchmark utilities. So let's go ahead and load the Nexus 5 and take a quick look at the benchmarks that we ran. So let's do Geekbench 3 first. So, the single core got a 910, where the multi core got a 2671. And check the show notes for these guys. I'm going to have all the, geek, uh, all the benchmarks results in the show notes, you can see. So the Geekbench 3, 910, 2671. Let's take a look at the OnePlus One. And I've already ran these, so we don't have to sit here and wait. And here's the Geekbench 3 on the OnePlus One. Okay, let's go. Didn't keep the results, so let's go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video, let this run, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we went ahead and re-ran this, and we got a 979 on single core. You can see 910. This is how it shapes up. So oddly enough, the multi-core score. Got a 2671 versus a 2599. So the Nexus actually did better with multi-core over the uh, OnePlus One. Kind of a, an oddity since this is a quad core and this one uh, is not. But, so let's continue on and take a look at the next one. And this is the Velimo. And we'll take a look at the scores here. Explore all results. All right, so we've already ran all these tests. Um, as you can see, the metal test, um, which really looks at the processor, uh, if you were just to do one action, um, as you can see, the metal test, 1728 versus 1392, so the OnePlus uh, on single core blew it away. On multi-core, here it actually wins so I'm not knowing about what Geekbench 3 is doing versus the Velomo, but a 1902 versus a 1608, which is what I would expect. And on the Chrome browser, which also does a lot of the Java, uh, if you're familiar with SunSpider, um, it does some Java, uh, does Octane. It has a lot of different tests built in when it does the browser. I only did Chrome, but 2895 on the Nexus versus 2874, so the browser and Java and that kind of stuff is actually faster on the Nexus 5 versus the OnePlus. So very interesting uh, scores there. Now let's look at GFX Bench, which is actually more towards the graphical side of things. So we've actually ran this already, and I'll let these load. But on the GFX Bench, it actually scored pretty good. So let's let's see if these will actually load up here. Yes, here are our results. So my device's best score. So we're going to go on the results. So there's a couple different tests here. There's Manhattan and then there's off screen, but this is a 1080. So let's look at the two scores here. And you can compare. 
So Manhattan, 815 to 582. This gets 13.1 frames per second versus 9.4 frames per second. For the off-screen, it's 754 versus 545, and 8.8 .8 frames versus 12.2. So you're seeing that this is going to do a lot better on the OnePlus for graphics. Now I didn't run the other like T-Rex or any of these low-level ones, but if we come down to special tests, rendering, Believe it or not, they're about the same at 3506. You can see on both of them at the bottom, 3506. Now, what is interesting, here are some comparisons. As you can see, my device's best score, but uh, you know, the iPhone 5S, these are pretty cool little apps that you can actually see uh, other phones, because this uploads it to a database, uh, which is actually kind of cool. So, you know, for graphics-wise, the OnePlus is going to be the fastest one. Now, the final Geekbench that we ran, or the benchmarks, were the uh, in Tutu. And for some reason, this one did not keep the results. There we go. So... My one... So let's see if I can go details. Oh, let's rerun this. So I'm going to pause this, guys, and we're going to rerun this uh, in Tutu because this was a really interesting benchmark that's going to show a lot of information. And you can already see the Nexus did keep this, and it scored a 22.318 overall. Uh, but I can say that the OnePlus came back with a 37.811, which was much higher than the Nexus 5. Uh, but we also can see how this is going to stack up versus a lot of the other phones out there. And believe it or not, the OnePlus is going to live up to its name when it comes to the flagship killing. So I'm going to pause this, rerun it on the OnePlus, and show you where it stacks up. Alright guys, you can see, it stacks up under the amazing category. Uh, 37811 versus 22318 on the Nexus 5. And pretty much almost everywhere multitask 3235 to 7560 I mean just staggering numbers blew it away um, overall performance now let's look at the rankings here go back on this one we'll look at the rankings and this one came up great this one came up amazing so uh, So here's where the Nexus 5 kind of scored. Let me probably pull this up here. Versus all the other phones out there, the Nexus 5 was kind of down here under the HTC One, the Galaxy S4, the LG, you can see the Note 3, the Galaxy S5, the HTC One M8. So the, the Nexus kind of came in down, down the row here when it comes to the Antutu benchmark. The One Plus, however, we'll take a look at it, how it compares. So we're under ranking here. Uh, let's see, device info, again it's behaving a little different on this one here, but let's see if we can go back, details, back, let's go ahead and click ranking here, and for some reason this one does not want to, but uh, this was at the top of the line guys, uh, it was above the HTC One M8, above the S5, it just completely, and if I just hit compare here, let's see if it actually shows me anything. Uh, so here you can see the HTC One M8 was the closest phone out here in this database on the N22 benchmark, but the OnePlus 37811 to 35244 for the HTC One M8. Um, so if you want to look at it versus the S5, 37811 to 35046. So the overall scores, you know, uh, the OnePlus came in much higher um, than all the other phones out there. So. Is this the flagship killer that they label it? It kind of appears so. Um, you know, it, what it lacks in some areas, it makes up in others. It is very fast. It is my new go-to phone when it comes to performance. It's also going to be my new go-to phone when it comes to shooting video uh, and also pictures. And I'm going to have some demonstration here. I'm going to do some night and some day shots. I'm going to have some stills and some live motion video included in this video so you can see the difference between the cameras. Um, and that, my folks, my friends, is a quick comparison between the OnePlus One, the Nexus 5, benchmarks, 
all that good stuff. You're going to listen and see for yourself on the camera uh, shoot that's going to be coming up following this part and you judge for yourself which one you think is best and is this a flagship killer like they say it is. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. As always, appreciate it and have a good one. Yeah.